Go. Hi, this is Marcus Giuliano from HealthyChefDude.com, and I'm here today with... Courtney Giuliano. My daughter. And I'm going to have <laughs> a nutrition conversation with a 10-year-old. Woohoo. Smart 10-year-old, <laughs> though, right? Yes. So, we're reading on this article right here, on the internet, Olive oil may replace trans fat shortenings in bakeries. So, this article goes on here to say that um, they sort of did this study and this, this taste, taste comparison. Some chefs did a taste comparison. And they saw that olive oil worked very well when they baked with it for pastries. Now, do you know the problem with olive oil and baking with it? No. You don't? No. We've had this conversation before. I might have forgotten. You might have forgotten. <laughs> what does Daddy like to cook with or bake with? Uh, coconut oil. Coconut oil, right. Justin wants to answer so bad back there. Justin. <laughs> well, I got to tell you guys something. Who does it tell us? Kind of have a little battery. You'll have to charge it after this video. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the warning, camera crew. <laughs> because you'll probably have another, like... 20 videos after this one coming up. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Justin. Off the topic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> back to back to the real topic. Yeah. <laughs> olive oil. We like olive oil. We eat olive oil all the time, don't we? Yeah. But we don't cook with olive oil, do we? No. No, because what happens when we cook with olive oil? Um. <laughs> this is going to be good because you have to tell your teacher this someday. It's bad. It's, like, yeah. It's bad to cook with, right? Yeah. Because olive oil, olive oil is an extremely healthy fat, and we need olive oil. If olive oil were reinvented today, it would be one of the, probably the top five most therapeutic things you can put into your body, which means it's very nourishing from the inside, high in omegas, looks like flax oil. We take flax oil and hemp oil, so it's something like along the lines of that. But olive oil is single bonded. Have you learned about single bonded oils in school? You're in fifth grade, a little too young, right? It's single bonded, it's unsaturated. Saturated or double bonded, like butter and coconut oil and lard are double bonded. They're saturated, two bonds. So our single bonded olive oil is not, that bond's not strong enough to bake with or cook with. As soon as you put it into a pan and put it in subject to heat, it starts to break apart and pull apart and warp. And then all of a sudden, I've read studies that say it can turn into a carcinogen, which means it could contribute or cause cancer. And olive oil is so healthy. Look at the Mediterranean diet. How healthy they talk about olive oil and we should be consuming olive oil. This and yes, we should be consuming olive oil without a doubt, but it should be raw, cold pressed, expeller pressed olive oil that's kept in our refrigerator. This article here is telling us to bake with it and to cook with it, and it's going to replace trans fats. My, that's my that's the worst thing I could suggest doing with olive oil is baking with it. Definitely not recommended. Don't do it. You're better off baking with canola oil, which I don't like canola oil at all. Um, if you want to bake. We're going to just bake with coconut oil. First and foremost, double bonded, strong. It won't break it down nearly as much in the heat. When you put it on heat, those two bonds need to break instead of one bond breaking with the olive oil. So what's some ways we should be using olive oil? <laughs> um, you could drink it. Right, because we drink yeah. a shot of olive oil here and there. It's very good to cleanse your body. Yeah. Justin, where are you putting the camera at? Sean Courtney. Oh, okay. It looks like he's going over there or somewhere. <laughs> Okay, what else can we use olive oil for? Um, you sometimes put it on salads with All lemon. All the time, put it on salads with yeah. lemon. Right. And we should store olive oil in the refrigerator, away from light, away from heat, um, in a nice cold, dark place, or in a closet or in the cellar that, you know, like where you could store wine. Mm -hmm. So, these chefs here, and this is the part that, that really drives me crazy, because these chefs on the Food Network talk about cooking with olive oil and stuff like this. People read stuff like this and think, oh, olive oil is great, let's do it. You're doing more dam you're doing more damage cooking with olive oil than you are with other trans, trans fats and everything. Do not cook with olive oil. Don't use trans fats either. Use coconut oil. If you want to use a milder oil, use something like grapeseed oil. But now, like, Spectrum has, like, organic non-hydrogenated shortening out there, which you can use in your baking goods. Again, my favorite oil? Coconut, coconut oil. I love coconut oil. I could drink coconut yeah. oil. I put it on my hair every day. I put it on my <laughs> body. You know, we keep all thing of coconut oil in the bathroom, don't yeah. we? To lather up and everything after a shower. It's just so, so uh, nurturing. So, this part aggravates me. Don't listen to these, don't listen to these things, you know, 
they tasted this. They said there was the, the taste was okay. And I've seen chefs bake with olive oil. I've been seeing chefs bake with olive oil for 15 years, which has been driving me crazy. And they'll come out and they'll show off. Oh, I just baked this with olive oil. I got rid of the trans fats or I got rid of the butter. And to me, that's very non-impressive. Skip it, drop it. Do not cook with olive oil. Do not cook, right, Courtney? Right. Justin? Absolutely. Absolutely <laughs> not. Don't cook with olive oil. Um, anything else we got to say while we're on camera? We're going to Florida. We are going to Florida. And it just snowed here like 36 inches in New York yeah. where we're at, right? So we're going yep. to Florida next week on Sunday for the week. I'm um, going to Orlando, going down to Vero Beach, and having a good time with the family. Yep. And uh, we got to eat healthy on the road. What are some healthy tips eating? Um, Take your own food, right? Yeah. We're probably going to pack Cause, some. Because really, on the plane, all there is is roasted peanuts, cocktails, Cocktails. <laughs> Drinks sometimes. Crackers. Crackers. Waters. So we're going to pack like figs, dried figs, yeah. goji almonds. berries, almonds, mm -hmm. some organic raw cashews. Maybe we'll make a trail mix. Maybe one of our next videos we can teach everybody how to make a really healthy trail mix mm -hmm. with goji berries and raw cacao nibs and pack some high antioxidants, nutrients, and stuff that will really give you tons of energy. Yeah. Maybe we'll do that because that's what we're going to pack for the airplane. And then when we're down there, the first thing we do when we get down there is go to a organic store, a health food mm -hmm. store, stock up on avocados, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, mangoes, mm -hmm. right, bananas, stuff like that. Um, so we're hoping to have a good time in Florida. Are we going to wear yeah. sunscreen? No. We don't like sunscreen, do we? Coconut oil. I, I never get a sunburn. Never in my whole entire life have I gotten a sunburn. All I've gotten is tan. Very, very. You get <laughs> You get very tan. I do too. And people at camp say that I have to wear sunscreen. All I do is take the sunscreen bottle out, squeeze it on my hands, and rub it on the grass. I don't even put it on you my hands. On, I don't no. even put it on. No. We have to re we have to respect the sun, though, right? Because when we start out for the summer, we like to go small amounts. If you go out in one day, you'll get sunburned. That's not good. Yeah. But if you respect the sun and go five minutes at a time, five minutes one day, ten minutes the next day, and work the sun into your system, there's no need for sunscreen whatsoever because sunscreen has a lot of funky chemicals. Um, we were using some sun tan lotion yeah. that had a lot of coconut oil and a lot of uh -huh. like lemongrass and a lot of other like the good essential oils. It was uh, really good. Uh, aloe vera. Aloe vera is good for your skin. How's our time doing, Justin? But you are exactly at 7.30. Perfect. Perfect timing. How's our battery? Not very good. <laughs> Not very good. But how's, are you like filming us or are you like wandering off? Uh, going back and forth with you two and one talks. <laughs> I try and get a little bit more of them. I don't think I'm going to watch this video. I'm just going to post it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. not going to want to see the camera going back and forth and this and that. Fine, that's a joke. <laughs> that's a joke. Uh, you want to have a counting contest, Justin? No. no. <laughs> we had a counting contest in the car and I won, didn't yeah. I? Yeah. So, find us at healthychefdude.com. You guys have blogs, too. Yeah. Yep. Yep. What's your blog, Courtney? Um, HealthyCourtney.blogspot. You got to write on it, though. Yeah, no. Uh, you got to write on it. You too, Justin. What's your blog? Justin's sport, Justin's World of Sports. Yeah, Justin's Justin Sports, Sports World. World. Dot blogspot. Dot com. Yeah, dot com. You got to write on it, too, Justin. I've been writing on it. You, you have? Kind okay. of. I haven't been on there in a long time. You're funny, because you'll, you'll talk about your brother. Yeah. You'll go on and blog about your brother, <laughs> and then you'll send an email out to all your friends. <laughs> Oh my God, check out my blog. Brand new, I just posted it. Check it out, you have to go there. And I'll go there and it's like, Justin's favorite team lost today. <laughs> Basketball or something. And it's like so funny the way you promote your blog. Yeah, but if you do scroll down, the first video I ever put up there is how to make a pina colada. Wait, no, not a pina colada. Pina colada shake, smoothie. Yeah, smoothie. Yeah. So if you ever want to make one. A raw pina colada, yeah. non-alcoholic though. Yeah. Oh, go so on the, to, go your on blog to, has that. Yep. Go on to our blog. And you would have some kind of recipe on yours too, don't you, Justin? Some kind of smoothie recipe? No, I don't think I made one. I don't think I was there when you made them. Really? We did that a year or so ago. Yeah. We'll have to check it out on YouTube. I got other. Uh, I got well, you a can lot. Find, you can find all the videos on YouTube. Aroma Time channel. Yeah. Aroma Time, T H Y M E, like the herb, on YouTube. Because that's where we put all the videos, and then we mm -hmm. put them on the different blogs and everything. So, because we blog about a lot. I blog yeah. about a lot. Mm -hmm. Wine, beer, 
health, restaurant, we promotions do we do. We like three blogs a day. Not that much. Yeah. <laughs> Not yeah. much. So you can find this blog on HealthyChefDude.com or HealthyChefDude.blogspot.com on Twitter at HealthyChefDude. I'm a chef on a mission to bring you better food. Don't believe all the articles out there. These people just don't know these other chefs, do they? Nope. And, <laughs> and the Food Network, don't listen to them. <laughs> Don't listen to them. Log on and read stuff like Dr. Mercola and go on and read uh, Robert Young and Gary Knoll, which has a lot of good stuff on, on all kinds of nutrition stuff. Uh, David Wolf. David Wolf is another good one we listen to. So, but David Wolf doesn't cook anything. No. Right, which we he like eating. He makes smoothies. Smoothies. He makes killer smoothies. Yeah. So, you are what you eat. You are what you drink. You are what you're cooking. Make sure it's awesome, awesome stuff. Until next time, you are what you drink, eat, and